Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. How is everybody doing? Man, I'm doing so good today. We are almost done with this castle and it's just feeling so good. I love this place with all my heart at the end. Once this is all completed, man, it's going to be my favorite build of all time. I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right now. This is my favorite build of all time since the first block I ever laid down in Minecraft till today. This is going to be it. And Bubbles knows it, right? Right, girl? My girl Bubbles right here. Say hello, everybody. That's Bubbles. Look at her. That man. Look at her go. We got the whole family over here on the side. In the last episode, we did this cool statue. And this is another one of my first. I don't think I've ever done a statue like this. And you guys seem to like it a lot. Uh, let me know if you guys wanted a tutorial on this. I heard a couple rumblings in the chat. In the chat. In the, in the comment section wanting uh, to have a tutorial on this. I could totally do it. I think I'm pretty good at remaking this one. It's, it's not too hard. And it's a lot of fun, man. I, I don't know. Let me know if you guys want to see that. But we're almost finished with this castle. We need a couple more things. And we're done. So, the, the thing we're going to tackle today is something that's been asked for for a very long time. It is this guard tower right behind us. And it's, oh man, it's going to be so, so much fun. Now, we got a pretty good idea how to set that up. Uh, after that, we still got this big board behind us, which is like the main area. It's going to be a throne room back there. Uh, there's going to be the living quarters, servants' quarters. Uh, we're going to have like a little library over there. Nice little uh, hangout spots in there. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun to build that. Besides that, as far as like uh, the structure outside, we're pretty much that's I think that's pretty close to finishing. Um, we still have some dungeons to do. We still have uh, a little wine cellar, maybe a little pantry on the ground. And a lot of people have been asking for a crypt, all right? Uh, and I think we can do one. I'm going to probably get inspired with some Game of Thrones, like a Winterfell crypt style like that. Um, cause I've been rewatching it just to get ready for April. I can't wait for the last season. If man, if you guys are Game of Thrones fans, let me know, put hashtag, uh, Game of Thrones right on the bottom and let me know what you think the ending of Game of Thrones is going to be. That's the question of the day. If you guys are down and are amazingly in love with Game of Thrones like me, how do you think it's going to end? Give me a little, a quick little two sentences. This is going to happen. This is going to happen at the end. It's going to be this person is going to rule over the whole thing. Let, let me know. I got some theories. I got some ideas. I'll let you know uh, tomorrow or the next episode when we come back what I think is going to be the ending of Game of Thrones. But man, I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, but you know what? Uh, let me go ahead. What I'm going to do is uh, let me just lift these walls up like we normally do. The same texture we've done for everything around here. We've done it for this one, for that one, for the wizard tower. Let me go ahead. I'm going to do uh, the texturing for this bad boy. All, only thing is I'm going to lift it from down here, which already like a quarter of the way. I'm going to lift this all the way to this lining right here. And what I'm thinking about doing up here, this little lining, thinking about doing something like we did here for the wizard tower, but we'll do that together. Uh, but I'm just going to lift it all the way up. And you know what? We're also going to decide where the windows are gonna go uh, how we're gonna set that up uh, I'm thinking about big windows on the top like really tall windows it is a guard tower so I wanted to overlook a lot of the area so I want the top floor to be some very tall windows I, we'll see how we can do that uh, maybe a middle layer here uh, I'm thinking though we'll have like this is the first floor uh, second floor a big third floor uh, and I think that's it. I think that's it. And then we'll probably have a staircase to get down to the depths of a dungeon. <laughs> but uh, give me a second. I'll be right back. Let me get some materials ready. Uh, wait till it's daytime and then we'll start it up and see where we can take this beautiful thing. And then let me lift these stupid walls up this thing. Oh, baby, there we go. So it's looking awesome. It's matching everything else. The wizard tower, the little chapel. This is looking so good. So we have this all textured up and it's looking awesome. Now we need to figure out where we're going to put windows. Um, so I'm thinking right here, this is a good spot. Uh, it's pretty center to these windows. It'll probably be centered to the windows we're going to do over there on that side. So I think it's a good height. I think right now on the top part over here, uh, we're definitely going to have to put the, some I'm not sure. Uh, I was thinking either uh, leave a pillar in the middle and then have two and like uh, a two uh, by two, like a two, two uh, wide and like a five high here. And maybe we have two, one here, one here, or we'd have one big window uh, kind of arching over like this and have it one, two, three, four, five and just have it arching um, or not even five because then this corners are, I don't know, it's kind of weird though. If we put one of these little archways kind of like we did here like this, but if you do it on a corner bit, it feels weird to me uh, just because you have a corner bit and then the arch would technically be on that corner bit and then come in here. So it might look a little weird. So maybe we could just do a three a big three window and then an archway in the middle like that. I think that might look pretty good. Um, and then for here, we could just, I'm thinking right here, come in with uh, some of the quartz and go like this. 
and maybe have like a three high on this one because i think what we did on this we did a one two three four four if you count that one two three on th oh these are four as well so if we do a four there hmm one two three four hmm because i don't want to have it exactly like this but i also want it to look similar uh, but then in this one, if you see here, we have a, a, a stair facing down and a stair facing up. These, what I'm thinking about is reversing them and do something like this. So like a stair facing like this, and then underneath it here, uh, we can come in, uh, with, can I grab you? No, it's gone. Okay. Forget it. Uh, I think here, what we could do is maybe do like a double stair going down and up here we could do a double stair going up. Can I reach? Yeah, no, I can't. Hold on. And then over here we could do something like so. So this is gonna be a double double and a double there. Uh, I don't think any overhangs is needed. Uh, I don't wanna put too many details too since we do it a heavy texture job. Uh, I think the details are in the texturing so we don't have to go too crazy with this. I would think it would be the opposite if we had hardly any texturing. Let's say we just had an outer border of one uh, material and then an inner border of one other material. Then in that case, since there's less texturing, I would detail this crazy way. Like I would probably do like little overhangs bits, uh, maybe like fences, some cobble walls, overhangs, crazy stuff like that. Flower box, it will go crazy. But since it's uh, the details and the texturing, I think um, making it light in detail on the wall bits uh, is gonna do uh, just lovely. I don't know. I, that's what I'm thinking with this thing. Um, and we got those windows. Um, we can't put a window on that side because it won't fit because of that. Uh, we could put a window on this side, but it's gonna be kind of limited too because we have. Uh, kind of half of this section is kind of cutting into that tower, so we'll see. Uh, but let's see, where did I put the floor in here? Okay, I put the floor right here. So I'm thinking if we do a triple right here, we can take this all the way up, all the way to probably here. And then, let's see, let's bring this down this way. So I'm thinking that's perfect. Uh, and then oh, we're gonna work on that roof in a second. Uh, and then we could just come in here with some of these quartz lovelies right there. And that'll be like a nice little archway. And I think here, what we could do is take this out and do our upside down stair bits like that. And then underneath that, if we're, since we're doubling it on all of this, we can come inside and do a little poop and a poop and a poop right there. That looks cool. Oh, cool. And it's giving us a one block gap space uh, before the next section. All right, I think we nailed it. Let's see. Let's come over here. Let's do it over here. See what, if it'll look good on all sides. Let's take this all the way up. And then let's do a little upside down way. One more, yeah. Uh, and our upside down stair action bits. And we're gonna take it all the way to here. Oh, that's, I think that's perfect. And then this one's gonna go here. Let's see what kind of clearance we have on the next section and see if it'll make sense to have it like that. Let's see. Um, Cause now this wall, ooh, cause we're gonna start going up right here at this edge. So I think we're fine as far as clearance here. This side though, Let's see, do we have the space? Do we have the capability to do what we need to do on this side? Because this is going to cut in to the building. Okay, so it's going to cut in right on this level. So I did raise that up. So it's going to cut right here. So we can still do this, um, the windows here. We can still do the window here. I think we're good. Oh man, I think this is just perfect. Because if we did it the other way, then this would have been in the way. So we couldn't do it all the way around. So let's just do this. I'm going to go and repeat this a bunch of times and I'll be right back with you guys and then we'll start laying out uh, the next section. Uh, hold on, do I have to do a I have to, do no, I can do it like, hold on. Uh, I need to take out, uh, hold on, let's finish this off. Oh no, I'm breaking everything. Hold, I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh baby, it's looking really, really cool. So I added the windows and I did decide to do a trim just on the top layer, just with some upside down uh, quartz stairs and quartz slabs. And I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, and it looks awesome. I have one of these windows open, the one in the front there too, because it's kind of like what we did over here with our feast hall. It looks awesome, but yeah, I'm happy. Uh, I actually had to close this archway off because I didn't, I know, I, at the end, I we don't have enough space. If it was a bigger tower, maybe if it was like an 11 by 11 by 11 by 11, uh, we would have more space that I could put some full glass panes on the inside and have almost like the, the same feature we had over here that we were able to put the big instead of the I'm sorry not the glass panes the the full glass blocks in the back 
and it kind of like recessed in but this is too small of a tower uh, to then push back another block uh, and it's gonna be absolutely no room up there uh, so I went with just regular panes and I closed this off the archway wasn't gonna work with a pane in the middle it just does not connect uh, but you know what uh, let's work on this little piece here can I parkour you yes I can uh, so this is what I got in mind so right here I put some stairs here facing this direction uh, and I might come in and switch some uh, cobble in here instead of all uh, of these being uh, stone bricks, but I don't know, uh, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see. And then up here, what I did was, let's get rid of these guys. Let's see, can I catch you? No, can I catch you? Oh man, I'm alive, I'm alive. Um, hold on, let's, um, let me come over here. Oh no, um, hmm, whatever. It's, it's fine. We'll fix that after. Uh, so over here, let's actually do a little dirt blockage and then we can come around and do some stuff. So what? Ooh, uh, okay, here we go. So under here, I'm doing this. I'm getting rid of that. Putting some upside down stair, upside down stair here, upside down stair here. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to put any cobble here. I'm going to put all stone up here. Um, maybe. Uh, well, we did put cobble there. Uh, let's put a little bit of cobble. You see the, the open window right there? Uh, so let me come in. Let's do a little bit of cobble. Just a, just a tad. Uh, let's see. So you could be a cobble. You could be a cobble. Uh, let's do this one. And I think maybe we could do a little cobble bit there. Uh, do I have regular cobble bits? Yes, I do. So we can do a little cobble bit right there. Uh, okay, looking good. And then we're gonna come around. Let me show you over here. Let's do another one on this side. Uh, so let's see, let's come down. Oh my God, if I fall here, I am dead. It is death for certain. Uh, so let's come around this way. Uh, so let's get rid of all this, all that, all this. Get rid of you. Let's do a cobble here. Let's do a cobble there. So cobble stair here, and then here we could just do regular stair. Let's do regular stair and regular stair all the way up, and then some up here could be um could be something. Wait, hold on, that's not supposed to be there. Uh, let's do boop and boop. There we go. And then I'll come back in there and fix those. And then let's do this last little bit over here on this side. And then we'll just pillar up and I'll show you what we got in mind for that roof. So we got some brick ready. It's gonna be nice. You watch. So we can actually get rid of all this. Let's do cobble here let's do a cobble on this side let's do a cobble stair let's double those cobbles there let's do something like uh oop hold on boop there you go bring that down there we go we're doing all right how are you guys liking it so far is this tower looking okay i hope so uh <laughs> let's do something like this and then maybe you can go in here and you can go there and that's looking awesome all right let's finish this off if i fall here i'm not dead for sure i think i'll be all right uh, okay, so I think we're good here. Let me get rid of some of these because we didn't put any cobble on this side. So let's do maybe you can be cobble you, you, and you. And then we can go pop and pop and a little popping right there. A little Mary Poppins right there. Yeah, I haven't seen that movie yet. Um, let's, <laughs> how do you guys like it? Anyway, uh, let's take this all the way up. Okay, we're good here. So let's get rid of this, this, this. Oh, and man, I wanted to mention, I bought the Captain Marvel uh, tickets already. So I am waiting for that day, man. Uh, what is it, the 8th? I'm going early, early, early uh, as can be. I think it's like, uh, I got like an eight o'clock showing. I think that was the earliest they were showing Captain Marvel. If you guys have bought your tickets yet, let me know. Or if you guys haven't bought it, but you're going the first weekend, let me know too. I am hyped up for Captain Marvel. And then that's our new captain right there because I don't know what's gonna happen in Endgame, but man, uh, we might be down a captain, so we're probably gonna need one. I'm gonna be so sad. Uh, man, I, I love my Steve Rogers, but man, we got a new captain in town and I can't wait, I can't wait. It's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, and it's said like in the 90s, there's gonna be some awesome action in there. I don't know, I can't wait for Captain Marvel. And, and man, I can't wait to see how it ties into uh, to, to Endgame after Infinity War with the dust didn't happen. Come on, I miss my friends, man. I want all my friends that we lost uh, in that movie. Movie. I'm not gonna say who because you never know some people might have not might have not seen it yet if you haven't seen it What, what, what are you waiting for man infinity war is the greatest it's on Netflix now you can't you have no excuse uh, So I can't wait so we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll give a full in-depth review um, A spoiler free review when uh, whenever I see it on the next episode here So you let me know what your hype levels are at uh, But you know what we're done with this part now what I want to do here is bring this down and around like this I don't think I want a walkable area here. I don't think so. But maybe we could have a little walkable area. I don't think we will, though. But I'm going to lift this up. Let me go ahead. I'm going to replace these bad boys here with brick and see what happens. 
Oh, hello. No, let's put let's take these torches out of here. Put this in here. Uh, let's put brick uh, all around here like so and see what we could do with this thing. That was already a placeholder. I didn't need double placeholders. So come on. Uh, so let's take all this up to about here. So we're going to go up to about here. Then let's take this one up to here as well. Let's see how we do this. Uh, and then we're going to take this one out and this one out. And let's see if we can make something pretty cool with this. So we're going to take it all the way to here. Wait, was it here? One more. I'm going to take it just up to there. Uh, let's get rid of this thing. I already know, kind of know how we're going to take this. So let's just take this up to here. Then once we get to this point, we're going to take away this. I'm going to bring this down here. Bring this down here. Bring this down here. Okay, and then we're just going to pretty much replicate what we had here already, but we're going to be tweaking. Uh, so let's see, I'm going to take that piece off. So if we go here, let's just take all this off. I already kind of have an idea, but I think that's as tall as I want it. Maybe we can stretch it a little more, but let's see. So I kind of like how this is set up already, but yeah, I don't think I want to walk right here. I think we might have to take this up a little bit here on this corner, maybe pop it up by three. Um, we're not going to see this bottom part, so I don't want to waste my brick. So we can just take this down to here take this down to here right and then i just fill in the bottoms after uh so one two three take that down here take this down to three here oh, come on what, what just happened i just broke everything uh so let's go right here uh and then we're going to take this up right in here and take this down so if we do that we can come up with like a little little gradual little slope kind of thing this can go up to there we can go here, here, here. Okay, just humor me. We're just, we're just uh, seeing how it goes. Uh, so if this is going to go like this, take this up. Oh, no, this actually goes to there. Get rid of you. I need that back because we don't have a lot left. Uh, we have a good amount, but I don't want to waste it. Uh, and so let's take this up to here. And then I, that's it. Okay, let's put that up here again. Okay, so what if we take this up there? Uh, then we could do, do I have my stairs and my slab? So we could do slab, slab, take that in, right? Then we can do bam. Wait, did I just put a slab down? I think I did. Let's put a full block here and here, full block here, and then slab, slab. Okay, that looks good. Let's see what we can do with this. So, no, no, get, get out, get, get out. There we go. Full block, full block, full block, and then slab, slab, okay. Then we got slab, slab, full block, full block. Okay, cool. Then, oh, sun's going down. Then in here, we could lift, mm, no, I want this a little taller. What if we bring down that corner, right? Bring down that corner, bring all these corners down. Oh man, it's getting dark. Um, it's fine, we'll work through the darkness. Uh, that's fine. Uh, let's see, okay, here we go. And then we got that. Okay, what if we now go do a little cross beamage here, even though it's not a beam, it's fine. We could take this around like so. Hmm, I don't know if I want to work with stairs yet, but let's take one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then take this in and then go one. Okay. One, two, three, four. Then here we could probably put some stairs. Let's see, something like this. I don't know, I'm gonna have to take a look and see. And then we can put like a little cobble wall and stuff. Let's get, let's get down here. Let's do some parkour in. Oh man, the most dangerous parkour. I think that's good. We're gonna fill this in though. We're gonna fill that in. I'm thinking it's okay, but I think I want it a little bit steeper. I like it though. I like it though, but I think I'm gonna do this. Let me fill this little piece out. I think I'm just gonna raise this up maybe by a block. Raise this up by a block and maybe put some stairs on those edges. But I think that's good. What do you guys think? I like that. Okay, okay. Uh, give me a second. Let, let, let's, do, let's do a little bit more troubleshooting. All right, I gotta check it out from here. I did some little minor adjustments. I made it a little taller. Let's check it out right now. I also add a little bit of granite like we did over here. One, two, three. Bam. Oh, that is a good one. That is a good one. I went a little bit taller. You needed to go a little bit higher just because, um, yeah, it needed to be different, completely different from every other peak we had, like completely different from that one, completely different from these little corner bits. So we had to go tall with it. And I love it. I love it. I added two cobble walls and three 
uh, of the dark oak fences and two iron bars on top, just like we did over here, but a little bit, bit bigger <laughs> because it is a taller tower and it looks so good. I love it. What do you guys think of our tower? It's done. This is it. But you know what? Let, let me go inside. Uh, we need to do some other things. Let's do some parkour right here. This is the best parkour. Watch this. I'm going to land right on top of this sword right here. Bye bang bang. Look at that. Oh, Bubbles, be careful. She's good. Uh, but check it out from down here. That's so good. And then once we lift up this roof, I left a little clearance there. But we didn't go all the way around with that little toppy to top uh, thing. But this is going to pretty much cover that piece up when we go up with that. So that's going to look good. And it's looking awesome from down here. Look at that. And I love the little ring around with the uh, with the stones. It has the same look that that one has. It has the same look that this has. So I just love it. I love it so much. But come inside. Let me show you what we got in mind in here. Uh, so I went ahead and put some dark oak just simple dark oak planks and that's all there is to it We got a ladder to get up. Uh, I do want to detail the bottoms here a little more Maybe some kind of a vault look to it would look pretty good So this tops here high ceilings look is so good Then we can have some uh, hanging down chandeliers and stuff like that even though it's a guard tower one of my guards to be fancy Okay, uh, we could definitely have some bunk beds maybe on this end uh, and then on the top we can have the the master in command here uh, doing all his uh, his meetings and stuff to up here and pretty much overlook the whole area uh, Which looks awesome here uh, up here. We definitely have to play around with this uh, It looks very good how it is, but I think we could do a little better So let me just uh, go up and show you how we can make this good uh, I don't know if we want any hanging lights here. Maybe we will uh, but as far as this let's see if we can make this look cool uh, I'm thinking with this what well, I don't have any glowstone. I might come back, but I just want to go with like a little slab ring here uh, for this one I want to go with a little bit of stair action like this and then bring in the stairs like so I think that will look pretty good let's see so that goes in this way this goes in that way this goes in here this goes in here and then this goes in here uh, down here, I don't know. I think maybe what is the main entrance? Okay, it'll come up from here. So maybe we could just put some stairs going this way, like that. Uh, and then we can go like this and do a little trapdoor action for now. Uh, but I think that looks good. I think it looks really good. Yeah, it's fine. We're done with that. Uh, so let me go ahead and do some other stuff that'll be kind of really, really cool for uh, for you guys to see. And also, you know what? Let me give you the comment of the day now ahead of time before the video is over because I want to let you know that this is the comment that inspired me to do the next bit. So John Boy <laughs> went ahead and said this. Sausage, you can make a spiral staircase that leads down to a torture dungeon. I don't know if I want to do torture here because we're we're magicians. We don't need torture rooms, but uh, maybe we can sneak one or whatever. Uh, if you do one, maybe I could be the head torturer. John, um, let me have a talk with you right now. Why do you want to torture people, John? <laughs> That's super cool. This inspired me to do this, right? So we had this already here. We have our walkway that goes into our church. We have this way that goes out. We have this thing. We'll make it pretty. But then down here... Watch this spiral staircase going all the way down. Now, I have a little arrow slit right there. Uh, we could come up maybe with another arrow slit here. This could be random. Maybe just one more like right there. Uh, and I can just go boop and boop. And then uh, whatever that comes out, that comes out. Um, I think we're fine there. And then once we get to here, I already have it hodled out. Pretty cool. Bam. So we got one dungeon, two dungeon sectioners, three, four, five, six. Uh, because you never know when you got to lock up somebody in here. Um, and then uh, whatever. We can have a... A little back torture room here if you want <laughs> but uh, over here we can have just a, like a little uh, like a guard sits like right here probably um, this could be like a section for like I don't know storage uh, storing weapons and stuff like that um, and then maybe we can have this kind of like close off like right here I'm thinking hmm I don't know what we could do uh, maybe we could do some upside down stairs and stuff but this is I like the way like it's a two by two walkway make it a little different um, but I think maybe we can have like Almost like a gate here, like a front gate. And then we can have everything here gated in too. Um, as far as this, ooh, let's see what we could do. Maybe we could do, and we can make it low. I don't know, maybe like this low? Something like that, that low. And then maybe all of these can go like this. Let's just go down with cobble and see what it looks like. So this can go like that. This can go here like this, and then all these could be really, really low and claustrophobic. Like, you don't want to have too much space in a dungeon, right? Uh, so something like that looks really, really good. Uh, and then in between, maybe here we could just go like so. Hold on, let's break these off. 
uh, something like this or something like that, like that. Uh, ooh, I like that. I don't want to put it low on the way in, I don't think. I just want it low in there. Uh, so maybe if we do that, let's lift this up then. Going like that. Maybe we can double that. Hmm. If we do that, hmm. It might be a little weird in this little section, but what if we just lift, if we just lift these up, let's see, if we just lift those up right there like that. And then this comes down this way. Hmm. And then here, uh, we could bring this down. Hmm. I don't know. Let me play around with it. I'm not 100% sure. We do have some stuff to make it look pretty, uh, and, uh, well, pretty and scary at the same time. Uh, so what if, well, let me bring in some gates. I have some of these iron bars. So let's close these in. So that'll be closed in and that'll be a little spot like that. We can close, let's close most of them and then leave one open. Let's leave one open over, actually I want to close all of these up to, Let's leave this one open here. So this kind of goes like this, and then this opens like that. So a little open one here. Uh, I want to bring this down. I want to make it more claustrophobic. Uh, so this is looking really, really good. Or we can make it really scary claustrophobic and just have a one wide. Watch this. And we just close all of this like this going all up. Oh, that looks even better. And oh, yeah, just like a one wide, have it super claustrophobic. I like that. I like, I like that idea. Maybe some of these can have like holes in it, like, or like maybe a, a stair uh, upside down, like somebody's been trying to tunnel out to. Uh, I don't know. I think that might be pretty cool. But give me a second. Let, let me do a little bit of off cam. I'm just going to lift this up. I'm probably going to bring these up here, make it a little tighter. Yeah, 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 that's gonna look awesome. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. Let's do some stuff, and we're gonna do a little dungeon. Awesome. Oh, baby, and we're done. You gotta check this out. That dungeon came out so cool, and you gotta see that torture chamber thing. Wow, I don't know. I went into some dark places in my heart to try to figure out stuff for that, and it's just, man, I don't even know if I could come back as a normal sausage after this, but you gotta check this out. It's so cool. Oh, man, let me flip. Let me show you. Let's go. Also, I lifted up this wall because I really want to take a cool screenshot, and it looks so ugly uh, with this thing open, so that's all I did. I just lifted up the wall, did the texture like I normally do. Uh, I probably do the texture on the rest of them it, uh, it, off cami cam because this is so dumb you've seen it a million times um but i just did this wall just because i want to take a cool screenshot uh but look how cool this tower came out so nice but come on now let's go inside let me show you some stuff and it's gonna be cool watch this boom interior's been done uh little carpet a little desk uh, over here like a little table not a desk it's a table uh with a painting this is the, the most luxurious guard tower you've ever seen also let's go upstairs before we check out downstairs torture area now check this out oh watch this vaulted ceiling looking very cool just with dark oak going up very simple then we have another vault over here and we got bunk beds baby we got space for six so if you guys have not picked a place to live and work in my world yet, okay? Okay, if you're already if you're already in this world, don't you dare say nothing on the bottom. I might forget, but you know you don't want two of them. Get, give spaces for other people, all right? <laughs> so if you if you want to be a guard in my castle, all right. Let me know down below, but hashtag guard. And I'm going to pick five more because we already got one more because we got our dungeon master, Johnny. Johnny boy uh, in charge of the torture chamber room. So I already have one. We need five more guards. Let me know if you want to be a guard and I'll put your name up in here somewhere. Also, come with me. One of you guys is going to be a head guard too. One of you five. And it's going to take over this back chair right here. And you're going to be the leader of the guards in this beautiful beautiful castle and check this out it's uh, the castle's not done yet but once that's done it's gonna look so good but check out that updated map of this area come on doesn't that look awesome we have those little uh the little houses on the bottom in the corner castle's almost done we just need this little bit right there oh but it's so good so nice i love this little uh, little chamber here it's so cool but let me know who wants to be a guard in here i'm gonna put your names up here uh but uh johnny which bed do you want one of those okay cool uh now let's go downstairs and check out what i did for this really cool spot now I know this is a dungeon down here, but it, there's nothing in the dungeon guidebook says that I can't make this look pretty. So we put this big giant painting right there. Uh, also some carpet on the floor, very nice. We got a trash can right here and a little bit of an awesome little corner right here. That's the key 
Okay, that's the master key. So, Johnny, if you're sitting over here, you better be careful. You better not let this key get into the wrong hands because then we let all these nasty boys out here. Now, check this out. Doesn't that look, just look at that. Doesn't that look like the scariest uh, walk to go from here to the back where you know there's some ghosts and goblins hanging out here. Some people died down here and you never know. They're going to be popping out ghosts left to right. Man, I'll be scared to be here in the pitch black nighttime, man. I'll be scared. But I got glowstone just to take care of us. Let's go down here slowly. We got a dark little section here. I did push it back. Uh, just one more. So we have a little more clearance. But the, uh, the bars come out up to here. It opens just these two. Looking very cool. We got a little poopy pot right there, which is a hopper in this pack. Looking beautiful. Look at that. Look at how nice. Little hay carpets right there. Even a little spot for you, you know, to hang up the person over here with some rope or something in case they've been a bad, bad boy or girl. Uh, so another little open spot. I want to see some stuff spawn down here. It'd be pretty cool if we could get some villagers or some. Uh, well, we don't have villagers here yet, but uh, some zombies or something down here. Uh, we'll see. I'll turn off the, all these lights and see if I can capture one. And then, you know what? I'm so sorry. But this is very, very scary. So if you don't want to see something scary, you close your eyes. And, you know, I'll let you know when it's done. All right. But back here, this is our torture room. Check this out. It's so scary, right? All right. Look at this. We got a little water here. If you guys you want to just splash, splash them in the face with water. And then we got one of those stretchy devices here. I don't know how this works, but you know what? We got these trap doors of the acacia variety, which we have a little add-on. If you want to take a look, download it for yourself. Cool little add-on that makes the trap doors uh, become these little wheels. And we use these for carts, but it also looks like you can like twist and turn it, twist and turn it, and you stretch the person here i don't know whatever it works uh and then we have a little spot for you can hang the person up here you know interrogate them or whatever and then splash them in the water right here whatever uh we have an x don't ask me how that x is there and don't worry how those blood stains happen i don't even know but johnny boy is our torture boy <laughs> so this is your room johnny uh hopefully you like it um and now the scary part is over let's get out of this dungeon there's some ghosts down here man ghosts and goblins are hanging out back here i don't want to hang out here let's get out but Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. We're going to go to church right now next door, a little chapel. We need some some healing in here. But <laughs> thank you, everybody, for watching. Oh, this was a very cool little guard tower idea. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. We're going to be back next, and we're going to be doing the big boy, the stronghold section next up. And we'll probably save the little down belows for another episode later on. But we're almost done with the castle. Who is hyped up for the end of this castle? And you know what? Let me know down below. What, what should we do after the castle? So besides going to the end and getting some elytra, what do you want to see right after that? But I'll probably ask you guys more when we're done. But man, super excited. Let me go into church. I need some 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 healing. Uh, I'll see you guys on the very next episode. All right. Have a good one. Goodbye.